Today, we're going to give you a brief overview of the FIT principles. F standing for frequency, I for intensity, T for time, and T with a small y for type. Frequency refers to how often you perform an exercise. And when you fill out this information, typically you would put down daily or two times a week, five times a week, or every other day, just as some examples. Intensity talks about how difficult you make the activity. And try not to just write down, I'm going to work out intensely. What you're looking for are specific terms in each area of exercise. For cardio, which would be any kind of running, uh, something that elevates your heart rate and you do for a lengthy period of time, you would look for a percentage of your maximum heart rate. So for example, in ALF classes, students are expected to get 60% of their maximum heart rate. In flexibility, this is any kind of stretching that we do and the fitness test we perform would be the sit and reach, you're looking to stretch to mild discomfort. We don't want to go to where you pull or strain a muscle, but the mild discomfort means that you're pushing the muscle a little bit beyond its normal flexibility and trying to elongate that muscle. For strength, this is typically when you're lifting weights, you're looking for a percentage of your one rep max. So for example, if a weight trainer was trying to do a workout with low weight and high reps, they would probably work out at 60% of their one rep max weight. And finally for muscular endurance, which we typically use for our abdominal test or our sit up test. This unfortunately is an exercise that you have to do to failure. The point being is, is if you stop before you get to failure, you won't be building strength in that area. So you need to go to failure each time that you do it and understanding that with fatigue, you'll probably do less each time. Time is kind of a no-brainer. How much time you take to perform your workout when you do it. Some people will go to the gym and work out for one hour. Some people will work out for 30 minutes. If you go to the gym and do different types of exercise, for example, I'm going to run for 30 minutes to warm up, comma, and then I'm going to go lift weights for one hour, comma, then I'm going to stretch for 20 minutes to loosen up my muscles. That would be an example of time. Finally, there's type. What kind of exercise or activity are you performing? So for cardio, things like run, bike, cross-country ski come to mind. For flexibility, you can do classes such as yoga or Pilates, or you can just do different stretches, but make sure to be specific as to what you're doing. So if you're stretching your hamstrings, we could also call that toe touches. For strength, we talked about lifting weights, so you would be naming the types of lifts that you're doing. The examples here are bench press, squat, and power clean. And finally, there's muscular endurance. Once again, we said this is focusing on abdominals you would name the exercises you're doing. So sit-ups, leg lifts, or oblique twists. I hope that gives you an idea of the FIT principles and you can apply these to the activity on the Google form.